Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna cover as usual the Bitcoin price because we have seen fortunately a huge bounce out of this last resort support at $37,000. Then of course we're also gonna have a look into Ethereum and at the end also into the DXY and Nasdaq. So this video is brought to you by BitGet. Here you can trade all the cryptos that you want up to 100x leverage. We have very high liquidity and very low fees here. If you sign up with the link in the video description you can get up to 158 dollars in trading bonus and bitget has some unique features like for example the launchpad where you can invest in early bird projects and of course also present your own project then next to that we have the copy trade features so here you can copy trade other successful traders as you can see we have many of them and it's always good to check in and look out if you find some free slots because the most profitable ones are always full so definitely check it out the copy trade feature here is running very nicely and you can of course trade also all the futures that you want we even have coin futures and some demo accounts if you want to try out trading without risking your own money then check out the demo accounts otherwise here you can deposit all cryptos that you want and this is also available for us clients so if you are a us citizen you don't need a vpn to access to bitcat you can easily sign up to bitcat without the need of vpn or anything like that so check it out with the link in the video description to claim up to 158 dollars in bonus and now let's dive here straight into the four hour time frame for bitcoin because finally we are seeing some bullish price action going on also because of the stock market which uh, is a bit recovering right now of course we are by far not out of the woods but this uh, bounce that we have seen here in the bitcoin price was very very important and you saw how bearish i was yesterday since we were breaking down below this support i told you that we need as soon as possible four hour and daily closes above it otherwise things will start to look extremely ugly because the next support is coming down in the low 30s again but for now we are seeing a nice breather and also it looks like that Bitcoin wants to push again above the median line of the Keltner channels. It acted so far as a resistance, but as you can see right now, we are trying to push through. And also if we draw here some resistance lines, you can see that right now we are trying to break above this resistance trend line. And it looks like that we were forming here a potential descending broadening wedge, which is a bullish pattern. The breakout target is up here at around $41,000. And if we are coming up towards $41,000, I think it's uh, pretty likely that we could initiate here a nice run up to even push higher and therefore let's go over into the daily time frame because here you can see that we got rejected right at the top of the Kelton channels I told you during this run up that the target most likely is up here but uh, since here we lost the support at the median line because very often we are coming down to test the median line and then bounce from it and continue the uptrend so since we broke again below uh, the target was down here at the bottom of the Keltner channels and this is also perfectly matching with this current bottom that we created here at around $37,000 and you can see that very very soon we are getting also a buy signal here in the daily time frame so if Bitcoin is able to push again above the median line currently at $40,000 so if we're gonna see that breakout out of this uh, descending broadening wedge in the four hour time frame and we're gonna see then daily closes above $40,000 so if we're gonna meet the target of around $41,000 and also start to close daily candles above it it's pretty likely that then we are back in the bullish trading zone so between the median line at 40k and the top of the Caltus channels currently at $44,000 dollars so things are starting again to look a bit more bullish but right now i think that we just have to wait uh, for what is going on also over in the stock market because if there we're going to see continuation to the downside it's pretty likely that also here bitcoin is most likely coming back down and another bullish thing is that currently we got supported by the 0.618 fibonacci retracement level so even though we had a daily close below it we never tested it as a resistance we immediately shoot it back up yesterday and we had a close above it so far the 0.618 was a good buying zone and was at the uh, bullish retracement level out of this correction so we should expect now also continuation to the upside if we would see daily closes below it and also confirm it as a resistance this $37,600 level then this of course will initiate continuation to the downside so we have another bullish setup here and the target is here between 
between 40 to 44 thousand dollars if we are able to push higher then of course then we have again those bullish targets that we have here over in the weekly time frame because after that buy signal that we had also disregard the sell signal sell signals on the weekly time frame are only important if they're coming up here in over uh, bought condition and not down here in oversold condition so if here we are able to see a fast recovery back up and also once this sell signal disappears then of course this could initiate a nice run up into the median line of the Keltner's channels again where we got rejected with this last push to the upside at $45,000 and then attack here the 20 weekly moving average at $50,000 and I told you my friends that after this buy signal that we had here on the weekly time frame and after the bottom here at the bottom of the Keltner's channel uh, it's pretty likely that we are going to see at least a run up towards the median line of the Keltner's channels and if we're strong enough we maybe even could see a continuation up towards the top of the Keltner's channels currently at around $58,000 but the more time we take to come up there of course uh, the lower this uh, uh, price level will go and that's why it's going to be important that we are going to see as soon as possible a fast recovery to the upside and also I told you that it's going to be very very important that we are going to maintain weekly closes uh, between these two purple lines that you can see here with the support currently at $37,000 and the resistance at around $68,000 so it is possible that Bitcoin is even trading here between uh, 37k and 70k for the next coming weeks and months until we are going to see a huge breakout to the upside or to the downside that is possible because here on the weekly time frame we are forming this potential big rise wedge that of course could take several weeks and months to play out and that's why as long as we are in this trading zone here I think that buying Bitcoin here at the high 30s uh, and selling maybe here or take some profits here at the high 60s uh, could be quite profitable but of course if you're just buying a Bitcoin for the long term then just buy in this area down here even though there is a risk to fall down towards $20,000 I think at the end uh, you will be sitting in huge profits if you buying Bitcoin for the long term and especially if you are DCAing into Bitcoin. So you never have to go all in, always DCA into Bitcoin whenever you think it's a good buying zone. So I think here at the low uh, 30s down to 20k should be a good DCA area. And then of course, once we're starting to go parabolic again and maybe reach even targets up here towards 100 or 230 thousand dollars, then of course we can take some profits to rebuy back in once Bitcoin is again in a bear market. So the weekly time frame is not looking too bad here on the lines chart and uh, it of course depends what will happen here because if we're going to create a higher a slightly higher low then of course it's also possible that we are going to form a slightly higher high and continue here this uh, uh, trading range in this rising wedge this of course in my opinion could be a good uh, thing to trade uh, especially here for the long term so maybe bitcoin will not see those crazy moves with 90 percent down and 5000 percent up it is possible that for the next coming weeks and months we're just staying in this boring trading zone here but of course also here you can take advantage especially if you're trading with leverage here over on bitget and before we switch over to ethereum just a little reminder we have here another new all-time high on the bitcoin hash rate so this is way more important than the actual bitcoin price so the hash rate is still increasing and that of course is extremely bullish and if we have a look here into ethereum also here you can see that we came down to the bottom of the Keltner channels in the weekly time frame and also here if Bitcoin is starting an uptrend the first target here for Ethereum is the 20 weekly moving average at around $3,600. I think that here we're going to face the biggest resistance since this also acted in the past as a very strong resistance and support area and if we're going to see follow through to the upside watch out for the top of the Keltner channels in the weekly time frame here at $4,400. And now let's have a quick look also into Nasdaq because also here we are coming very close to the bottom of the Kelton channels in the weekly time frame. We even touched it and if here we're getting a buy signal which is about to come this also could initiate a nice run up towards the median line of the Kelton channels at around $15,000 and if we're strong enough we could even see a follow through to the upside towards the top of the Kelton channels at around $16,500 and there also we're going to see if we're going to have then a continuation of our bull market 
or if you were getting somewhere a lower high and continue the bear market or downtrend but here in the next coming weeks i'm still gonna remain bullish for nasdaq and that of course will be also a leading indicator to where probably bitcoin and the overall the crypto market is moving to and here in the daily time frame we still have this potential double bottom formation the bearish thing is that here we created a lower low compared to the first local bottom that we created here so this is of course not a very bullish setup but at least we could expect here a nice run up and then of course retest the neckline here of fifteen thousand dollars and if we're gonna have here breakout to the upside this of course could then initiate a nice run up towards the main resistance at around sixteen thousand dollars and if we have a look now into the dxy you can see that here we never came back above the support trend line so right now we got rejected and we're coming back down we could also get very soon a sell signal here in the daily time frame since we have the rsi right at the 50 level and still negative money flow so if the dxy here is coming back down to retest maybe the 100 daily moving average and even have daily closes below it i think it's pretty clear that then we are going to see a retest of the bottom of the Keltner channels at 95 dollars and if we're going to have daily closes below it watch out for the 200 daily moving average at 94 dollars if the dxy would move here in the next coming days and weeks down towards this price target then of course we are going to see a huge rally buff in the crypto and stock market so i still gonna remain extremely bullish here for the bitcoin price i think that it's likely that for the next coming days and weeks we are going to get that relief rally but of course right now we are in a very critical point and if we're going to lose important supports level then things will change immediately but if this breeder that we're seeing right now is going to be successful we have very good chances to come up and retest the 50 to 60k area and then we're going to see if we're going to remain in this trading zone between uh, uh, 40 to 60k or if we're going to have a huge breakout to the upside or first to the downside to maybe close all the cme gaps at around 20k and afterwards finally move up to a new all-time high so with that said guys i'm going to wrap it up for now don't forget to sign up to bitcat because here we you have an all-in-one trading platform and you find the link in the video description if you like this content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel check out all my social media platforms with the links in the video description thank you again very much for watching and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye